What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to explain to you as simply and as quickly as possible sockets in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so this today is going to be a speed run on Python sockets. So we're not going to go into a lot of detail. I do have a video on this channel where I explain sockets in more detail for 40 minutes if you want to watch that. And I also have many videos where I show you how to implement chats or chat rooms in Python using sockets. So you can watch those as well if you want to go into more depth. Today is going to be quick and simple. So we're going to start right away by creating two different Python files because we're going to model in order to understand uh, sockets, a server and client relationship. So client server system or client server architecture, we're going to have a server PY and a client PY. Now, what you need to understand about sockets is that sockets are basically just communication or connection endpoints. So we can import in Python socket, and we can create our server socket by saying that we want to have a socket from the package socket. Now, what we specify here first is the type of socket, so the family of socket. Is it an internet socket? Is it an infrared so uh, socket? Is it a Bluetooth socket? And so on. Uh, I also have a video on a Bluetooth chat in Python using Bluetooth sockets if you want to watch that. Uh, but the most common one is to just go with the internet socket. So internet, uh, internet communication. The second thing that we provide here is the type of socket. Are we working with a connection oriented or a connection less uh, protocol? So TCP or UDP in the case of an internet socket. Difference being that when I have a TCP connection, I actually have a connection and I exchange messages over that connection. Whereas with a UDP socket, I just send and receive without maintaining a connection. So we can say in order to have a TCP socket, we just say socket dot sock stream. And now we have created the server socket uh, for the TCP uh, protocol here. Now in order to bind this server now to a specific address, we're going to say server bind and we pass the IP address and the port. Now the IP address will be either localhost if you're running this locally here, it will be your private IP address that you can get in your command line, just Google how to do it on your operating system. Uh, so something like 192.168.0 something, I don't know, something like this. Um, or it will be 0000 to do that automatically. If you're running this on an actual server on the internet, you should go either with a private IP address or with the uh, 0000. So I'm going to just go with the 000 here. Uh, and then we specify a port number, I'm just going to go with uh, four times nine here. And that's basically now our server being bound to that specific address on this port. Then all I have to do is I have to say server, listen, I can specify how many connections I want to be um, allowing for at the same time, let's say five, for example, and then basically, I can do whatever I want to handle connections. So I can say while true, constantly accept connections, I do that by saying server accept and this server accept returns two things. First of all, a client, second of all, an address, the address is just the address of the client that connected to our server. And the client that we get is the client instance that we can use to communicate with the other clients. So the server socket here is just a server for accepting connections to actually talk to the other client that is connecting to the server, we need to have another socket, the client socket that communicates with this other client. Um, so basically, to keep it simple here to not make it too complicated, we're just going to, um, to send a message and receive a message or to first receive a message and then send a message. So we're going to say print client receive, we're going to receive 1024 bytes, we're going to decode the message. Uh, and then we print that and then we can send a message to the client, we could say something like hello from server, we're gonna have to encode this. And that's basically it, then we can uh, accept another connection, or we can we can keep going with the while true loop. To now connect to the server with a client, we have to say import socket as well. Now we create a client socket, which is going to be socket 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 AFI net socket sock stream again, so a TCP socket, basically the same thing as the server. But this time, what we're going to do is we're going to say connect. And the important thing is on localhost, it's easy, you just connect to localhost. Uh, but in the case of an actual server, you want to use the public IP address, unless it's in the same network, then you can use the private one. But always when you're hosting, you use the private one when you're connecting, you use the public one, unless you're connecting in the same network, not via the internet, then you want to go with the private one. So in this case, I'm just going to go with localhost here. 
Uh, I hope this works like this. We're going to pass the port number 9999 nine again, and then we're going to just say client dot sent. We're going to send hello from client and code the message. And then we're going to print whatever we get from the server. So we're going to receive 1024 bytes from the server. All right, now to actually see that this works, we run this one. And we run this one as well. Now you can see the server received hello from client is still running the client received hello from server, I can run the client again. I will always get hello from server and the client um, sends the message to the server as well. The important thing is here, I forgot to decode, which is why we get the bytes uh, every time. But there you go now. Hello from server, hello from client. That's TCP. Now we can also change that to be UDP. So to be connection less because as I said here, we accept the connection, we can send and receive messages back and forth, we can handle connections and separate uh, threats and functions. Um, if you want to use something else, if you want to use a connection less protocol, you go with sock dgram for UDP in this case. And um, the basic difference here is you still bind, but you use different functions. So instead of returning a client that you can use for the connection, you just get the data that you get from the server and you don't even accept the connection. So let's actually remove all of this. Um, and we also don't listen because we're not accepting connections. What we do is we create a server socket with sock dgram, we bind it to the address. And then what we do is we say the data is uh, the data and the address is whatever I get from server receive from receive from is the function we want to use here 1024 bytes. And the idea here is now I don't get a client, I don't get a connection, I just get the raw data that I got from somebody. Who is the somebody? Well, it's the address, I don't have really um, more details here, but I know it's the address. So what I can do is I can say, uh, I want to print a message. So data decode, and then I can say server send to now who do I send this to if I don't have a client? Well, I just use the address. So I can say hello, from server and code this and send this to the address that I got this message from. So you can see this is one single transaction, I get some data from somebody, uh, I'm going to print it, and then I'm going to send back some data to the same address that I got here, but I don't have a connection, I don't have a client that I can work with here. Uh, for the client here, what do I do? I basically do the same thing, I change sock stream to sock dgram, um, I connect to the same uh, or actually, I don't even have to connect to the server since we're not using a connection. So what I do instead is I say client sent to I sent client uh, hello from client and code. And what I pass here is the tuple that I used before for connecting uh, just every single time I send a message. So of course, this needs to be in quotations. But that's the basic idea, I encode the message, I send it and I specify who I send it to in this send to function here. And then I do the same thing, I get data address is client dot receive from uh, actually, you know, it's not necessarily even a client server connection anymore. It's just two UDP sockets talking to one another. Um, uh, or actually, I mean, yeah, it is because you're yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we, we say client from um, client receive from 1024 bytes, and then print receive message. Uh, which is the data decode. Um, so let's go ahead, run the server, server is running, waiting for input, the client sends something to the server, server gets hello from client, client gets hello from server, no connection used because we used sock dgram. So that's the basic idea behind sockets, you have two communication or connection points, they can talk with some protocol, they have to have a certain family, internet, Bluetooth, infrared, whatever, and then a certain type of protocol, be it connection oriented, connection less, and there are also other types. That is the most basic explanation of a socket in Python. Now you can go on and watch more advanced videos on more detailed explanations on different protocols on Bluetooth sockets on chats on chat rooms and handling multiple connections, and so on and so forth. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.